So I I I went and got a lot of good talent, and they they went out to be top players. What's uh, the current status of corn? The current status, man. Um, we ain't dead. You know what I'm saying? Like we 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 still here. Uh, it's kind of like a it's kind of like our story kind of like the no limit story. Word word. You know what I'm saying? Yep. We we just we just smaller. Um, trying to figure out our place mm-hmm. in the new community. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a lot of rules. Yep yep. You know, so I think the biggest the biggest shortcoming that we had was like I said the monetary monetary thing. Gotcha. We we're paying for a lot of things on our own. Gotcha. A lot of stuff out of out of my own pocket. Yeah. Um and. I always say it when I come back to the community, if I came back, that whatever I do, I'm not going to do it the same way. I have to learn from the mistakes from the past. And um, I don't think, because people were asking me the other day, oh, well, well, you know, corn, corn, corn. And we'll never have 30 people again. Gotcha. You know, we went from 30 to 8. That was in the same five months. Mm. So, like I said, it was, it was about thirty of us, and then I cut I cut my ties with most of the players. I got you. Um, once we were eight, I felt like it was it was quality over quantity again. Good, you know what I'm saying. Where it started. Yeah, that's that's where I started at originally, and then we we built ourselves from there. So Let me ask you something because it's in my mind. I, yeah. I gotta I gotta touch on this. Yeah. What would you have done differently with the recruiting part? I mean, would you still have affiliated people, but yeah. not made them official members, or what? So this, this originally everybody came, right? Gotcha. And then I changed. So after April, because you have to imagine, I kicked out niggas that were my friends. Mm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. There are people in the Michigan community that still don't really like me mm. to this day because I kicked everybody out. I got gotcha. you. You know, some of the people I kicked out were my friends. Wasn't nothing personal. Mm-hmm. I just felt like we weren't on the same page. Gotcha. So, eventually, what I did was I said, "Who's traveling? Who's practicing? Who shows promise? Who listens? Who's hungry? Who has drive? Mm-hmm. You know, and who's who's capable of actually learning and picking up? And um, those were some of the things you know that I w- that I would look at. Some people, I was recruit. A lot of people, I was recruiting them. They didn't know it. I don't talk about it. That's awesome. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't tell them. Hey, mm-hmm. if you keep you keep it up, no. Mm-hmm. I, w- I would just. I would just watch. Just watch and not say yeah, anything. Yeah, silent. So you'd know that their improvements and their work ethic wasn't based on wanting to just be down with the Correct. team. That's, Correct. That's, that's yeah. That's a OG yeah. street mentality. Yeah. That's how you're supposed to do yeah. it. That's because, awesome. Yeah, because like, I gotta. I gotta see how you move on your own. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And and see like if 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 you can join my 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 conglomerate right, so to speak right, and, yep. and add value to us you know what i mean got a question for you mm-hmm. um a lot of these aren't on here obviously yeah, because this yeah, is yeah. a this is an important topic man in uh detroit's history yeah. this is this is probably the most uh, this is the mo- most renowned click probably in the midwest yeah to be honest with you yeah um certainly the most controversial yeah for whatever reasons but when you think about when we talk about controversial uh, things and topics and names, obviously we got a lot of different shit going on politically. The name niggas being in the title, mm-hmm. I mean, is there is there any way you can work that around where a company, let's say Amazon, I'm just throwing a name out there, mm-hmm. say Amazon comes to you and say, hey, I love your fucking idea, Jeff Bezos. He comes down to the D, like, what up? Where's BJ at? Yeah. He loves the fucking idea of. You know what I'm saying? What you're doing and everything like that. And he wants to sign the team. Um, but obviously he's like, hey, you know, I can't. It's a yeah. PR nightmare. Yeah. I mean, I know you've had that thought before. So I already came, you know, what it what it what it was is I felt like um because the word nigga in the name mm-hmm. was controversy. Gotcha. Some people had an issue with it or whatnot. Mm-hmm. What I did was I just created a um a separate entity. Okay. So, as a click, we were corn, mm-hmm. but on some esports business shit like that, we were IRL. Mm-hmm. So, IRL is is LLC, and mm-hmm. um, congratulations. Yeah, we we did that a long time ago. Word. So, 
and it's funny because I'd be looking at at shit. I'd be looking at Twitch and I'd be looking at people in the in the community and stuff. And Twitch has a uh they have a topic on Twitch called IRL, meaning wow. meaning that if you ain't talking about gaming, <laughs> mm-hmm. it's like a just chat type of situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, that's my shit. Mm. You feel me? The whole presence of anything with what, the, with what those does three IRL letters stand for? In real life. In real life. Okay. Yeah. So so anything with that, mm-hmm. that's something that I they 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 took that. That's some that was a, a term that I coined. Mm. And I had to I had to, we, we are already have all the paperwork and everything. Mm-hmm. So that's the name that I felt like if a if a serious sponsor Right, okay or anything like, like, like that, that's the that's the name that I'm doing business under. And do you feel like uh IRL carries the same core values as the coalition? Coalition. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same. It was the same thing. I just okay. felt like, I felt like, um, because I've been, you know, I've been doing the gaming thing most of my life, and at that point, I didn't know if there was, you know, me and Gym Master, um, we always had dreams of mm. what it would be like one day. You know, we thought we'd be wearing NASCAR, you know, full driving suits with Pepsi and. Yep. You know, we were mm-hmm. thinking about stuff like that 20 mm-hmm. years ago. Yep. And um, we didn't know exactly how it was right. going to be. But I felt like at that point when the whole IRL thing started, I didn't know how big gaming would be. Mm-hmm. I felt like, you know, I felt like you could be moderately successful, you know, with the winnings and stuff like that. But I felt like it's, it's always important to focus on your life outside of games and to do your gaming as like more so of a hobby. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You can, if you can monetize it, All right. if you can be successful for it, mm-hmm. go for it. Mm-hmm. Right? Yep. But I feel like whatever you do outside, whether it's working, running a business, mm-hmm. going to school, yep. uh, things like that, those are the things that you should, that you should focus on um, instead of sacrificing everything and potentially coming up with nothing 